So hello everyone and welcome to the Stepford Academy. Today we're going to be using mathematics to figure out when the James Street extension will release. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to write down our title. When will Esther Field We know that because of a leaked document. Release. Okay, so that's our hypotheses for today. So let let's let's change the colour to green. Let let's just make the size a bit bigger. Let Esther field. Be equal to x. So to locate x, let's plot a graph. So let's get a graph here and let's. Oh, okay. So we've got our graph. So as we know, this is the x axis and this is the y axis. And there's a line on this graph somewhere, let's just say, I don't know, it's going like this. There's obviously an equation for that graph, or that line rather. So we want to figure out what the equation for the line is, so that we can plot down and find the end of the line. So to find the equation, we will use a simple formula, y equals m x plus c. Now, this formula basically means uh, the gradient of the line, so we got y equals, that's, so that will be the point, so let's say we had um, 0, 4, so this would be the point, uh, let's just let's plot down a few numbers here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so that would be like these numbers in. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So 0, 4 would be, let's just change the colour again, it'd be right here because that's where we, where we had our thing but let's get rid of that and let's go back to our green. So y equals m, the m, so let's just say right over here, m equals change in x over change in y or it can be abbreviated to m equals um what is it now y1 negative y2 over, yeah, ignore that. I forgot it's not y that it, these should be switched. So, this is the real one. So, let's get rid of that. That's, that shouldn't be there. m equals y1 negative y2 over x1 negative x2. Okay, so let's say we had uh, a line going like this. Oh no, let's draw that a bit better. Let's actually draw a proper straight line uh, like this. So let's go from here, let's do that. So the change in y from here, oh, from here. So the change in y and then the change in x. Let's just say for for an, a demonstration that this this is um one and then this is also one. So therefore the gradient or m would be equal to one. Okay, let's do a bit of erasing here because we don't need any of this. Let's make it a bit wider actually. Make it a bit wider. Yep. 
lovely. Let's fill that back in with black. There we go, brilliant. Okay, so now, knowing this information, what can we figure out? Well, we can figure out a lot of stuff. For example, let me just draw this line real quick. Thicker actually. There we go. Oh. Here we go. There we go. So what we can what we can we figure out? So y equals the change in x of the change in y. So the change in x is obviously gonna be get the colour back. The change in x or x oh no I'm drawing a straight lines. X1 negative x2 is equal to x negative 2021 which is the year. And there we go. Okay so the change in y well y could just be a random number let's say so let's make it zero. Okay so x negative 2021 over 0. So we don't know what it is, but we can substitute it in. And then we've got to times that by x. So we've got x negative 2021 over 0. And then we've got to multiply. We've got to put that in brackets, actually. Let me just change this up. We go. This needs to be a bit different. So we got change y equals. Let's bracket that up, and let's also bracket up the x, and then we can add c. Okay. So c is the y-intercept, i.e., the point where the y will be intercepted. So for common purposes, we're going to make this number zero. So we get the conclusion that x negative 2021 over 0 times by x is our answer. So y, right, right, right. So we know that we can now get rid of the y and we can just start formulating down because we know that y is 0. So x negative 2021 over 0. So let's implement x into the actual sort of thing here. So we can get x squared negative x times 2021 over 0. OK, so let's just rub out a bunch of stuff, actually. Let's make it really big not sure how you make it really big actually. Oh, no, don't want to do that. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Anyway, that, that should be fine. We can just extend the page actually if need be. Here we go. Lovely. Great. Okay, so now we've got this formula, we can go back to our normal settings. So, let's say we have to time the root. Because this is over zero, and we can make, we can literally illustrate this in the graph. If we do one over one, we get one. If we do one over 0 0.1, we get 10 so and it carries on so this one this way we can prove that 1 over 0 equals infinity okay that's really badly drawn infinity now because you can divide over 0 by anything we can just put any positive integer over here and we will get the answer of infinity okay so what we're going to do 
is, because this can be any positive integer, and because we are times in by 2021, it's, and if we, x is a positive number, we know that this has to be a positive integer. And because we are dividing by 0, this means that we can then prove that x is equal to infinity. And therefore, this means that Esther field will never release. There we go. So this means, and we can actually plot it down on the graph here, because it's um, an x equals zero line. It will come all the way down from like, let's actually use a different color for this, right? It can come all the way down from here, and then it will turn, and it will go all the way, and then it will come back up again. So. I hope you enjoyed the video and this will prove this proved hopefully that Esther field will never release.